welcome to the December video for the Fast or Write Writer's Box. If you didn't check out our November video, no worries. What I do is each month I take a pen, ink, and notebook and create a new short story with those three. That way it gives me a chance to use different tools to create stories for you guys. So if you haven't checked out our November video, I will catch you up really quickly. This was a notebook I used and I wrote the story called The Third Client. Really quickly, I'm gonna show you the notebook, pen, and ink sample that was used to create it. And of course, the prompt by El Soon of The Third Client. If you wanna read this story, go to fastorwrite.com. It will be posted. So you will get to see it in all of its glory. I do remind people that because I'm called Fast or Write, the stories are written pretty quickly. So you're going to probably see errors. You're gonna see typos, things that may not make sense. That's the whole point. I'm getting it fast, maybe not right. So let's move on to December. The December notebook was gifted to me. I haven't used this one either. It's the Paperage. I believe they got it off of Amazon, but you can probably find this notebook in a lot of other retailers. Unlike the Apica, this one has a little sleeve for you to see the qualities of the paper. So if you're familiar with Moleskine, you may sort of be familiar with this setup. It does have a little clip for you to keep any notes. It's also got a nifty little pocket as well. I have, like I said, I haven't used this one, but I have used similar ones. The pen that I'm using is the Yin Hao Shark. This is a, actually a pretty cheap pen. Many fountain pen enthusiasts don't care for it because it's on the cheap side. However, I have one in a different color. I absolutely love it. This may not have been the best pen for the ink I'm about to show you, but I will tell you why I picked it. If you guys can kind of see the color in the barrel, that's a very good reason. And People who do write with fountain pens probably get why I picked it, but I'll explain that in just a second. So the ink, it's the Colorverse Ink Project, and this is called Ornament Yellow. So do you guys, do you see that lovely, lovely color in there? That color is not always good for fountain pens. I don't quite know if it's a shimmer or a sheen. I haven't researched this yet. However, I didn't want to put this in a more expensive, expensive pen and run the risk of it clogging. So I'm using the cheaper one. I know I can claim that Yin Hao Shark. However, after writing with this pen and ink combo, I may have to move to a broader nib in order for you to get the full effect of the ink. But as of right now, Yin Hao Shark, we will see if I move to a different pen. If I do, you'll find out in January. So let's see what I'm actually writing. So just like last time, I've got a title page. And yes, it is hard to see. It is a yellow, so no surprises there. So guys, there we go. Paperage notebook, Yin Hao Shark Pen, Colorverse Ink Project in Ornament Yellow. As last time, I have the one, two, and three passes, so ink pen enthusiasts can kind of see what you get the more ink you use. The reason that ink was also chosen is because... The prompt, as you can see, is a Christmas ornament passed down with a secret. So what that secret's going to be, I know you don't. So one more little thing for my fountain pen lovers. You can see that even with the three passes, it, the ink did not seep. However, it was a pretty wet ink, so it did kind of crinkle the page, just like if you would get it wet with anything else. All right, guys, I have a month to write this. My goal for this particular project is to actually get it done the week of Christmas. So as I get closer to Christmas, it's done, it's uploaded. You guys will be ready to go and see it on January. If you want to see the third client, which was last month's story, check it out at FasterWrite.com. You can also reach me on Twitter or Instagram at FasterWrite. Feel free to reach out with story prompts, ink, pen or notebook suggestions, I take them all. So I hope you guys enjoyed the third client and we'll see what the secret of the Christmas ornament will be in January. Bye guys.